just about see both of us. This is Dennis <laughs> the pilot <laughs> and I'm Laurie on my taxi run and Dennis is going to uh, give me a guided tour of the cop here. Well, I suppose Dennis if you wouldn't mind just a few seconds showing some of the controls. To no, the, that's fine, to we'll do that, yeah. Okay, in front here we've got the main instrument panel, um, artificial horizon, compass display, um, speed. Uh, airspeed uh, at the top it's uh, knots nautical miles per hour and the bottom one is Mach number um, and in what happens is a, a tape comes along there the leading edge of the tape gives you the uh, the airspeed uh, in knots and also the uh, the Mach number there alongside is the altimeter and rate of climb and descent tells you how quickly you're going up and down going around from the far side uh, we've got the radar hand controller there which controls all the functions of the um, of the airborne radar we've got uh, throttles one for each engine first position is idle all the way forward there is maximum dry rock outboard and forward again is into <coughs> yeah. um down here under carriage position indicator when the power's on you'll get three greens with the wheels down and if they're travelling, which they won't be on our run, <laughs> you get three reds and then lights out when the wheels are up. Um, trim indicators uh, next. <coughs> Electrical trims, uh, tailplane, rudder and uh, aileron. And also an air brake indicator there, shows you whether the air brakes are out or in. Uh, flap indicator, two positions only on the lightning, uh, fully up or fully down. Undercarriage selector. Uh, brake parachute handle, which I pull to uh, operate the uh, the braking parachute when we're slowing down. Okay. Engine instruments, RPM, jet pipe temperature, and uh, engine nozzles. With the engines in reheat, the nozzles open fully, uh, and in dry power, they're down in this yellow sector at the uh, the bottom. Uh, standby instruments here in case the main display fails. Low, little horizon altimeter and airspeed indicator. Uh, fuel gauges, two for the um, main. Uh, tanks which are in the wings and one for the ventral tank. Um, fuel, very important uh, for the Lightning pilot because it gobbled it so quickly. Uh, uh, down on this panel in front of me you've got various uh, uh, switches like navigation lights, uh, fuel transfer, uh, radio and aerial selectors and so on all down there. Um, main radio controller uh, just there, set on the Cranfield frequency at the, uh, at the moment. Autopilot uh, control Autopilot very useful um, when you're trying to do an intercept. Uh, if you put it in height and heading mode, it will keep a steady height, steady heading while you look in the uh, radar scope, which is uh, which is over here. Coming down, <coughs> the main warning panel. This is uh, significant warnings like uh, engine fire, reheat fire, oxygen failure, and just underneath a fire button, one for each engine, in case you did have a, an engine fire. There. Yeah. Um, over here you've got the um, auxiliary warning panel, uh, warnings of lesser importance such as a uh, single hydraulic failure, engine oil low pressure uh, and so on. Right. Just below that you've got the um, switches, armament switches. Uh, on the T5 you only had the two um, heat seeking missiles and you could arm them up uh, with these switches um, below there. Switch, yeah. That's the right, yes correct. Okay. Right, down in front of this control column, if you just have a view, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the main um, engine uh, start panel. Uh, normally, you would have certain switches on uh, before engine start, just to get things wound up. Yeah. And then for engine start, uh, for real, you pull the, as uh, a central lever, you pull that up, switches all the other switches on, ready for engine start. Is that this one? That's the one, yes. Okay. Uh, just alongside to the right, you see the two buttons. Um, they're the start buttons, one for each engine. Okay, and uh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll go through that uh, in a little more detail when we finish the, uh, the filming. Okay, um, further over, uh, nothing significant over here really. Oxygen uh, uh, pressure and so on, and um, and that's about it. You've got a duplicate set of throttles for the um, pilot in the right hand seat to operate, yeah. and just behind you've got another radar hand controller, uh, which is. Does exactly the same functions as the um, as the one on the left. I think so, I'm just getting that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, right. So yeah, th this this part we've got. Uh, take my specs out of the way. Uh, we've got the light fighter sight, <coughs> which you could use to, uh, if you had the guns fitted, use as a gun sight, or you could uh, sort of visually um, 
pointed to target so the missiles uh, could acquire the, uh, the target, the heat source from the target there. And that's about it really. Oh, that's a great overview. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. All right.